Hey all you speechies, today I'm going to talk about the voice therapy technique known as the SZ ratio. It was first proposed by Francis Eckel and Daniel Boone in 1981. This technique is an indicator of laryngeal pathology and is suggestive of one's ability to phonate or vibrate their vocal folds. Voicing happens when the vocal folds come together and air from the lungs blows past them causing them to vibrate in this sort of eloquent bottom to top way. Now that being said, maximum phonation time is how long one can sustain um, a phoneme in second. The only difference between the s and z phonemes are the voicing. The s is voiceless and the z is voiced. Therefore, if there's a discrepancy between the maximum phonation times for each of these phonemes, it leads back to the only difference, the voice. This technique is very easy to use and doesn't require a lot of material. You will need a calculator to compute the ratio, a stopwatch to time the phonations, a pen and a piece of paper to record your numerical values. First, the clinician will ask the client to take a deep breath and produce the s sound for as long as possible. The clinician will use the stopwatch to time the phonation and record the numerical value. Then the clinician will ask the client to take another deep breath, only this time they're going to produce the z sound. Once again, the clinician will use the stopwatch to time the phonation and record the numerical value. These first two steps will be repeated so that you have two values for s and two values for z. Next, the clinician will take the longest s production and divide it by the longest z production value to obtain a value that represents the client's ability to vibrate their vocal folds. So research suggests that 95% of people who have difficulty with the movement of their vocal folds have an SZ ratio of 1.40 or above. Therefore, if you obtain a value that is equal to or greater than 1.40, it is indicative that there may be a degree of vocal fold dysfunction. So now that we know how to compute the SZ ratio and what it means when we um, obtain a value of 1.40 or above, um, it's important to know when to use it. So this technique can be used during um, the initial assessment of a voice, um, before implementing more thorough tests, or it can be used periodically during treatment blocks to um, track progress. This is a great way to kind of give a visual to what's going on here, um, especially for a client who benefits from seeing the progress versus feeling the progress. And finally, this technique is useful for any client who is exhibiting um, phonation difficulties, um, but particularly those with vocal fold nodules or polyps and individuals who have gone under prolonged intubation. Um, because these we know affect the vocal folds ability to function and vibrate effectively during phonation.